They come from all over, in many shapes, many sizes, and a lot of paddles, to play a game that is wicked fast. You may call it by the pastoral name, Ping Pong, but this is Take No Prisoners Table Tennis, and it is relentless, heartless, and merciless. Played by athletes, well, that could double as angels from central casting. But it doesn't hurt if you're agile, mobile, and just a little hostile. I love like the fast reflexes and how you have to react so fast. And there's so much strategy within the game. And a lot of people don't know, but there's like a lot of mental game that goes into it. So I basically just love everything about it. Table tennis is the, one of the fastest sports in the world. Like the, the, re, the spin on the ball can go as fast as a jet engine. So, I mean, you gotta react like this. In Milpitas, table tennis is the sport du jour at the India Community Center. That's right, Buster, Milpitas. Hundreds of kids are battling it out for a shot at the big time. Two of the very best are 16-year-old Lily Zhang and 21-year-old Timothy Wang, both members of the 2012 USA Olympic table tennis team. Oh my gosh, it was definitely the most amazing experience of my life, just being there with all the other US athletes and being part of the US team. It was such an honor and it's definitely something I want to do again. The Olympics was a great experience. Uh, it's a great learning experience for me, definitely, because as a U.S. table tennis player, I don't get much exposure to the international scene. So to be able to compete with the best of the best, it was definitely a great learning experience. Wang started playing when he was barely able to stand. Table tennis was a family sport for us. My whole family played. I have two older brothers that also played when I was younger. And my parents, they used to bring me to the club when I was a baby. And they would sit me on the table and they would hold my hand and I'd hit the ball back and forth with them. And that's how I got into it. It was a lot of fun for me. Wang is a star on the rise in the U.S. He won the Junior National Championships, the Men's National Championships in 2010, and then also pulled down the Canadian Open Doubles Championships before making the U.S. Olympic team. Before, I was only playing table tennis for fun, but the last four years, I've just been training pretty much every day whether it be in Houston or out here in ICC, and I'm just glad that I could have been a part of it representing the country. Lily Zhang also has a very impressive resume. She was the youngest person ever to join the U.S. national team at 11, and she had teammates that were in their 40s. Recently, she won the North American Junior Women's Championships. I started when I was seven years old, and my parents used to play for fun, so I kind of just went along with them and joined them, and. It never started out seriously. I never expected to like, make the Olympics or anything, but as time went on and I won a few tournaments and I was like, wow, I can really do this and I really love it. For the junior from Palo Alto High School, she not only got the chance to play in the Olympics, but also the opportunity to meet some of the very best athletes in the world. Then I met Michael Phelps, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Misty Main, Kerry Walsh, and everybody was so nice. Like It was so cool seeing them all there and meeting them all. Stay, go, and my, yes, Chole. Seemingly overnight, well, actually since 2005, the ICC has been producing champions and now Olympians. There's so many young players here and I think table tennis is definitely improving in the U.S. More people are starting to play and ICC has been so supportive of me and everybody here and I definitely wouldn't be here without them. The U.S. is yet to win a medal at table tennis in the Olympics. China flat out dominates the sport. They're sort of like the New York Yankees with little paddles. Nevertheless, the U.S. is knocking on the door. If I have a chance to go for it, I'm definitely going to go for it. I got to work hard these next four years, and hopefully next time I can bring a medal back. So with the help of the ICC, the USA just might medal with Zhang and Wang. And the world should watch out for the kids from Milpitas because 2020 is just around the corner.